Hi, this is Lakshmi Kanthativari. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how you can do text summarization using NLP. So basically, in this lesson, I'll be using Spacy, and then I'll be also discussing uh, the type of the text summarizations and how you can do the text summarization. And then finally, I'll get started with Spacy, and uh, then I'll do the tokenization. And after the tokenization, I'll make a frequency word word frequency table and then uh, a word frequency table will be normalized and after that I'll, I'll be doing a sentence tokenization after the sentence tokenization sentence score will be calculated and then finally a 30% of total sentence length will be selected as a summary and then finally I'll compare the original text along with the summary and then finally I'll show you how much we have reduced uh, in the form of the length summary. So you can see the summary is just 30% of original text. Alright, so without wasting time, let's go ahead and start this brand new lesson. So the first of all, you need to understand what is a text summarization. A text summarization is the process of distilling the most important information from a source text and uh, the most of the time we do not have a time much time to go with the len lengthy text so uh, uh, by using this text summarization uh, you can summarize a whole text in a few particular sentences which will give you overall summary of overall text sentence why automatic text summarization is needed Summarization reduces reading time and uh, when researching documents, summarize, uh, summaries make the selection process easier. Automatic summarization improves the effectiveness of indexing and uh, automatic summarization algorithms are less biased than the human summarizers and personalized summaries are useful in question answering systems as they provide personalized information. And using automatic or a semi-automatic summarization system enables commercial abstract services to increase the number of text documents they are able to process. Uh, uh, the resume summarization is also available for, for uh, human resources uh, department uh, for fast in screening. And there are so many others, uh, there are so many other advantage, advantages of uh, text summarization. How the text, uh, uh, what are the types of the text summarization? Text summarization can be done based on the input types and then finally it can do a single document summarizations or a multi-document. Okay, uh, I mean uh, the, the, the summarization can be based on a single documents or a multiple documents. And uh, uh, the text summarization can be uh, uh, based on the output types like uh, extractive or abstractive okay extractive summarization means it will uh, give you the summary uh, by selecting few sentences from the overall um, uh, the overall sentences in the abstractive it can finally make a total abstraction of overall text and then the based on the purposes text summarization can be done like the generic summarizations, domain specific summarizations are a query based summarization. The question is uh, how to do the text summarization. It is the text cleaning. You need to do actually the first text cleaning, then the sentence tokenization. And then uh, we also actually, uh, uh, just, just a second, I need to cut it there. And apart from that, we also need to do uh, sentence tokenization and then we need to do uh, word tokenization and then word frequency table and then finally overall summarization. All right. So let's say, for example, you have this text. There are broadly two type of extractive summarization task depending on what the summarization program focus on. So I have taken this text, a piece of text from Wikipedia article, which is basically based on the text summarization. So this is quite large uh, other document. Uh, that, uh, uh, there are three uh, line, 
this this and these three lines there okay so let's go ahead and uh, start text summarization so in this lesson we will be using a spacey library so let's go ahead and get started with summarization if you do not have a spacey library then you need to first install it by using pip install spacey and then the python spacey download e and core web sm so there are three types of model available small medium and the large but for the purpose of this lesson you only need to download the small uh, you do not need to use medium and large but if you have already downloaded medium and the large then uh, it will work okay not a problem all right so let's go ahead and get started by importing first spacey uh, you need to import first a spacey import spacey and then you also need to import stop word okay so spacey import spacey dot lang dot en that's the language stop words all right perfect i stop words and then we also actually this should be from there uh, from here uh, import stop words and uh, then uh, from a string import punctuation all right perfect so we have stop words punctuation in the space now let's go ahead and first get the stop word stop words is equal to let's say here we have uh, sorry stop words and now you see here this is set actually let's go ahead and make it list although it doesn't make much differences all right perfect so we have stop words and then let's go ahead and create the nlp model by using uh, by, by calling e and core web sm so that you can do with the spacey dot load and then e n core web underscore sm all right then here we have doc is equal to nlp and inside this nlp i'm gonna pass this text so let's go ahead and pass this text now it says that it is not defined i think we also need to run this now we have got the tokenized uh, tokenized sentence uh, tokenized word in the doc all right after tokenization let's build uh, 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 the list of the tokens and that we can make by calling tokens is equal to uh, token dot text for token in doc okay and we can print the tokens here so let's go ahead and print these tokens now the one thing you should notice here is that punctuations and stop words are also part of original token see here are to off to so on what is the these are stop words and uh, you see here a round bracket and dot and uh, apart from this uh, uh, the full stop there is a uh, uh, closing round bracket and there is comma so all these are part of the token now our task is also uh, remove these uh, stop words as well as uh, punctuation so let's go ahead and see what are the punctuations available which we can remove so these are the punctuations but the one thing you should notice there there is no new line so we need to add new line in the punctuation as well so we have also added a new line here all right 
So let's go ahead and build the word frequency first as in this step I told you that we need to do the text cleaning. So the text cleaning is just a part of removing stop words and punctuation and then word tokenization and then word frequency table. So we need to calculate each of these words how many times has occurred in this text and then with based on those frequency we need we will identify that the most important sentence okay so here we have word underscore frequency uh, this is the dictionary which we are going to make here word frequency for word in doc if word dot text dot lower okay not in stop words and similarly if word dot text dot lower not in punctuation okay and then if word dot uh, uh, if, if word dot text not in word frequency dot keys then word frequency and there we have word dot text uh, equal to one uh, else word frequency and then word dot text is equal to uh, plus and equal to one so this is actually how it is happening if any uh, keys is being introduced the first time the word of that occurrence will be equal to one but if after the first time it is being introduced for second and the third time then it will just increment one in a already present uh, uh, the key in word frequency all right perfect so let's go ahead and see this word frequency now with this you see here broadly types and extractive these are the one but the summarization has been uh, occurred 11 times maximum perhaps that is 11 is maximum here so we can use here a print all right perfect now let's go ahead and get the maximum of uh, that frequency max frequency that is max of word frequencies dot keys uh, perhaps that value not the keys so here we have max frequency that is 11 now what we are going to do we are going to divide all each of these values by 11 so that a normalized frequency can be achieved so 11 divided by 11 is 1 and that 1 is maximum normalized frequency okay all right and uh, here we have that summarization is 11 here okay perfect so now let's go ahead and uh, first divide all of these values by 11 that we can do by using for loop for word in word frequency dot uh, keys for all the keys actually then their word frequencies and get the key is equal to word frequencies uh, get the key word then uh, 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 the divided by max frequency okay so now let's go ahead and get the word frequencies sorry now you see here 
this is a normalized frequency of each of the words present in text data all right perfect now let's go ahead and uh, do the sentence tokenization so there we have sentence uh, sentence tokens is equal to sent for sent in doc dot sends now you see here sentence sent tokens so these are the sentences okay perfect all right so these are the sentences now what we are going to do here we are going to calculate the sentence score okay so to calculate the sentence score what we can do sentence uh, sentence score is equal to in the same way as we did for uh, uh, a word frequency table we are going to create here a dictionary for sentence score as well for sent in sentence tokens now here we are going to have for word in sent all right so if word dot text and dot lower in word frequencies dot key if it is present there then in that case what we are going to do here we are going to uh, we we are going to add the values of actually you see there uh, every word have normalized frequency count there and we are going to add those normalized frequency count in each of these uh, uh, sentences and then with the maximum value we are going to select most important sentence so if sent not in sentence is scores dot kitch in that case sentence is scored and then sent is equal to word frequency word dot text dot lower all right else uh, we need to copy just the same thing here uh, just paste it here and the only difference is that we are going to add the previous sentence score in this one so that we can achieve by just putting here plus sign all right so let's go ahead and run this and let's go ahead and get the sentence score so here we have got the sentence score for each of these sentences now you see a sentence score is presented for each of the sentence now our task is in our now our task is to get uh, the 30% of sentence with the maximum score that we can achieve by using uh, this package and largest that we can get with uh, heap q from heap q import n largest now let's go ahead and get here select length is equal to int of uh, the total length of sentence score actually sentence tokens so it will tell us total length of sentences present and then multiplied by 0.3 that means select only the 30% of total sentences so the 30% of total sentences is 4 so we need to select four sentences which have a maximum frequency count here all right so let's go ahead and get here summary summary is equal to n largest and inside the n largest if you press shift and the double tab it asks about n and then it table and then the key so n here we have select length and then finally we have sentence score 
and for the keys that's the key for the key we have uh, sentence scores dot get all right so get the keys from sentence score dot uh, uh, keys perhaps all right so here we have summary now you see here so these three sentences has been uh, sorted from uh, these full list of sentences so these three sentences represents the summary of the sentences uh, sent the summary of uh, text all right now we have got uh, uh, the three most important sentence now we need to uh, uh, combine these sentences together so let's go ahead and see how we can combine these sentences together uh, we can do these with uh, uh, final summary is equal to so here uh, we are gonna use here a for loop for word in summary okay so what we are going to do actually we are going to take each of these words from the summary so we are gonna do here a uh, text okay so this final summary is actually a list okay a list of original text so finally we can say that summary is equal to dot join we are going to join this final summary sorry okay so here we have summary all right so this is a summary so let's go ahead and print it now we print it so this is summary and uh, we have already seen the original text uh, original text is we can get from the text so this was original text actually so this is full original text and out of this original text we have got the summary uh, by our model now let's go ahead and compare uh, the length of original text and the summary so the length of original text is 1869 and length of summary after summarization is 605 now you can see it is almost 30 percent of uh, original sentence uh, original length of text all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thank you so much for watching uh, this video please do not forget to like and subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day